on the 12th of March 1946, outside the Academy of Music in Budapest, the former leader of the Arrow Cross Party, and the man who was appointed as the leader of the nation inside of Hungary, was taken to his execution. He was not to be condemned on the gallows or be shot like many other Nazi collaborators were inside of different countries, but Ferenc Szalazzi was instead to be pole hanged. This was a variation of hanging, and it was used inside of Czechoslovakia and Hungary, and was also known as the Austrian gallows. Szalazzi was a man who rose to power briefly during World War II, but he was placed in that position by the Nazis, and he formed a puppet government who had the blood of thousands of people on their hands. He willingly, along with his ministers, deported thousands to concentration camps, and most were exterminated inside the gas chambers within minutes of them arriving there. Ferenc Szalazzi was a ruthless man, who if he had been in power longer, would have had many more people on his death list, and he would have had thousands more victims. But as mentioned, he too was executed at the end of the conflict for his crimes, and his execution was one of many that day on the pole. Welcome to the Untold Past. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Ferenc Szalazzi was born in January 1897, and he possessed some rather strange and bizarre beliefs from an early age. He believed he was given a divine right to rule or have power, and that God had passed this on to him through his mother's milk, which he was fed as a child. Surprisingly, he lived with his mother, even until 1944, whilst the Second World War was in full swing, and before he came into power. But as a young man, he joined the army, following in the role that his father served inside of society. He attended a military academy to train as a soldier, but was promoted to the rank of lieutenant, and he then became an officer inside the Austro-Hungarian army. This was during World War I, and he was on the front lines for three years, which was considered long-serving, as many soldiers during the conflict lasted just a matter of minutes in the trenches, as they were then sent over the top, being drafted to the front to perform this death dash to the other side. Salazzi began on the Italian front, but he was then transferred to the Western Front, and he finished the war at Verdun, the scene of many tough battles. But after the conflict had come to an end, he appeared to abandon any political beliefs that he ever had, and he may have been deeply affected by what he witnessed during the conflict. Hungary as a nation was struggling politically with a number of different changes, but Szalazzi was far from this, and he remained inside of the armed forces, and saw himself with more of a military career than one inside of politics. He embarked upon general staff officers' training, and attended different military academies. His teachers thought that he could one day become a general, because he was so well liked by other members of the military, and he had a distinct tactical understanding, which was better than others. He was viewed as a skilled and intelligent man and commander, however other soldiers thought he had too much power within the armed forces for his ability and experience, but he was promoted to the rank of Major. The political situation though inside of Hungary was a huge issue in the 1930s, and there was a huge amount of upheaval and chaos. Gyula Gombos was appointed as the Prime Minister, and Szalazzi when this happened then became more significantly politically motivated, and he switched his desire to rise through the military, to a wish to rise throughout the political circles and gain power. He formed a right-wing nationalistic ideology, and wanted Hungary to push forward and expand its borders to what they previously were, as the country had been shrunk by around 72% of what it had been as part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He began to write different political pamphlets, but at the time soldiers within the military were banned from getting involved in the nation's politics, and for this work he was imprisoned for 20 days, and was sacked from the army's general staff. When he was released he became a lowly staff officer, and turned his back on the army once and for all, to focus and devote his time on politics. His first political party was known as the Party of National Will, and this nationalistic party was quickly banned, as it was seen as being too right-wing and radical. However, Szalazzi then established in 1937 the Hungarian National Socialist Party, which was based upon Hitler's Nazi party. It was anti-Semitic, and after the Anschluss of Austria, his growing followers became more radical and dissenting, and for this he was yet again imprisoned. But whilst he was in prison, he was declared the National Socialist Arrow Cross Party leader, and this was a coalition of right-wing groups, and many people flocked to the cause, and this gained around 30 seats in elections, but would then become one of Hungary's biggest political parties. 
When the Second World War occurred, the Arrow Cross Party became banned, and Ferenc Salazzi was ordered to conduct his political work in the shadows. But the Nazis and the Germans did support what he was trying to do, and he would later come to power propped up by the Germans. This came late in the war, and in March 1944, Hitler ordered the invasion of Hungary, and the Nazis then occupied the region. Hitler had launched Operation Marguerite, and his soldiers were ordered to storm into Hungary, and he began by placing Dom Schotje in power as a Prime Minister, but the government then legalised the Arrow Cross Party, and Salazzi was allowed to attract more people to the cause legally. The Prime Minister was quickly overthrown, and Salazzi was declared an enemy of the government, and he was ordered to be arrested by the regent, but he was protected by the Nazis, and the regent wanted to end Hungary's involvement with the Axis forces, however the Germans had kidnapped his son, and they threatened to kill him if he did not abdicate and place Ferenc Salazzi in power as a Prime Minister. This led to Salazzi completing a meteoric rise to the top of Hungarian politics, and his Arrow Cross party were now in power, with Salazzi being named the leader of the nation, but he was in theory running a Nazi puppet state. He appointed 16 ministers, half of these were his close allies within the Arrow Cross party, but with the war still going on, he put in place a number of plans which pleased the Nazis, and he instigated the persecution laws that had caused so much death and destruction across Europe. His government promoted martial law, and executed many people who were considered their enemies politically, and under his regime thousands of people were deported to concentration camps, and they were then exterminated within the gas chambers, after arriving at the camps. He was not in power for long, to be specific 163 days, but these were dark days, filled with slaughter and death, and people disappearing. He also sent large amounts of resources and food to the Germans, and many people inside of Hungary began to starve and suffer even more. But at the time the Soviet forces were already inside Hungary's borders, and were fighting with the Germans and remaining Axis forces, but despite this his party sent 80,000 people to concentration camps. On the 19th of November 1944, Ferenc Salazzi had really nowhere to go, but hide as the war was coming to an end for him, and Budapest where he was holed up, was being encircled and surrounded by the Soviets, Romanians and other forces. This led to a 102 day siege of Budapest, and he did somehow manage to get out. He fled the city and went to the west, and he then went to Vienna and on to Munich, hoping that Hitler would get him some form of safe passage out of the trouble. Meanwhile in Hungary, as the country capitulated, the Arrow Cross Party was dissolved, and many people fled to save themselves before the Germans surrendered, However, on the 6th of May 1945, Ferenc Salazzi was arrested by American soldiers, and he was then sent back to Hungary to stand trial. He was brought in front of the People's Tribunal in Budapest, and his government through this had executed many different people. Ferenc Salazzi was indicted on war crimes and high treason, and he was said to have been a Nazi collaborator who deported thousands of his own people, who were then slaughtered. He was someone who was hated by the Hungarians, and he was then condemned to death. On the 12th of March 1946, the former leader of the nation of Hungary was taken from his prison cell in Budapest, and specifically he was taken outside of the Academy of Music within the city. Here there were many execution posts which had been created for the execution of prominent members of the Arrow Cross Party, and Salazzi was brought out after two of his former ministers had been executed using pole hanging. This was also known as the Austrian Gallows, and a post was used to execute rather than a gallows with a trap door. Salazzi walked past the hooded bodies of his former ministers still on the post, and the executioner and his assistant helped him up onto it. He was secured in position using a chest sling, and the executioner secured his arms and legs so he could not move, and then the ropes were passed through a pulley system. The executioner was situated behind the post, and it was his job to manually dislocate the neck of the former politician, and he then secured the noose around Salazzi's neck. When the executioner gave the orders for the drop, Ferenc Salazzi's body plunged a matter of feet, and the executioner did his grisly task, and he was left slowly strangling to death, as his neck did not snap. He struggled as much as he could, and the executioner then placed a white cap over his head, to prevent thousands of people seeing his final moments. Ferenc Salazzi's body was then cut down, and it was buried inside the new public cemetery inside Budapest. He was a hated figure within Hungary in the final days of the war, 
and his government and party led to thousands being killed and also many people suffering and starving, as he gave large amounts of food and resources to the German army. He is remembered today as one of the most ruthless collaborators of the Second World War, who met his fate being executed on the pole in front of a large crowd. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.